to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching this with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the red one's coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today I'm on the brow build, all right? A replica build, extremely rare, but also one of the few center builds that are actually gonna be good, all right? So let's just take a quick look at this. Now, I will say this. The way that replica builds work is based upon the rosters. Now, you're not gonna be able to make this replica build. I'm gonna show you how to make the current replica build. So as the rosters play as, you know, Anthony Davis throughout the season, NBA 2K updates the rosters like every like week or two. So what happens is, is that now you're not able to make this replica build. And that's what sucks. If you wanna make a replica build and never have to worry about changing or you know like that type of old players if you're watching any of my replica build videos if it's a current player most likely if he's playing good really good or really bad you're probably not gonna be able to make it if you use an all-time rosters that th their attributes never change right so that means you will always be able to make those like kobe and michael and all that you never have to worry about that replica not working but since this is an active player yes you're gonna have to it's gonna fluctuate so you can't make this one which is thank god you can't because because you can't even have this high of a mid-range no more. And so that's what really sucks. But I'm gonna show you real quick. As you can see, all the numbers are just got like 85, 80, 86, 82, 80, 82 mid-range, 76 three ball, 77 ball handle. You're gonna see how, how well I can dribble with this build. 86 interior, 74 perimeter, 79 block, 85 defensive rebound, and of course 75 speed, 84 strength, 78 vert, 90 stamina. The badges that I have right here, total, as you see in the top right, 23, 19, 16, 21. So I got post spin on Hall of Fame, back down punisher on bronze, slithery on, on silver, fearless finisher on bronze, fast switch gold, and of course, posterizer silver. You know I gotta get the mini position and space creator to work in the post. Gotta get that green machine. And of course, I have blinders on silver. Now I have clamp breaker, I have um, hi, um, hi, um, hyperdrive, handles for days, killer combos, quick first step, vice grip, and unpluckable. So you can really dribble in this build. I am probably um, don't need to worry about anything else here. Maybe um, bail out if I wanted to, but really the defensive side is what I'm, what I'm continuously to work on with badge upgrades. Um, I have ankle braces just because I was playing in the perimeter and I was getting broke a little bit. Menace, workhorse, post, lock on bronze, chase down on gold, rebound chases silver, challenger bronze and of course anchor bronze but again like you said it's 610 243 seven foot um five wingspan i have double take right which i think is pretty good now um obviously i got accelerated bad so i get double take like it ain't nothing so i i went with post shot daggers and advanced moves um post moves but these are the badges that i have i even got sharp um take on this so but what i'm gonna do is this because i, I know a lot of y'all gonna ask how you can make this so right now as of this video right this is how you're gonna make it now if you're watching this video two weeks from now and they do an update of the rosters it's probably gonna change okay but let's head over there right now and let's try to make this build all right my nephews and nieces so real quick we're gonna go over this um you do want to go center he's right-handed he's number three with replica bills you got to get that right on the dot same thing for the height the weight you can play around with you got to be within 20 pounds of his official roster so you can be 20 pounds heavier or 20 pounds lighter so if you wingspan seven foot five is the highest you can go body type i went to find okay um close shot 85 driving layup 77 as you can see here the 77 instead of an 80 what i have i still can get the 86 still can get the 82 standing dunk um you can actually go to um to 90 standing dunk but i don't think that's even possible 78 on the mid-range 75 on the three-point shot so again as you know with mine i had an 82 and a 77 now you can only go 78 75 and again, now, if you're watching this weeks later, maybe he's he doing because he's doing he's killing it right now. So I'm pretty sure his his mid range stuff is going to go up. And he might be able to get a better three. Um, and then of course, ball handle. I had a 77. This one can go to an 80. So his ball handle actually went up a few attributes to where now you can have an 80 ball handle with him. Um, 86 on the interior. You can go 79 now on which is max out to speed on there. Go 75 on the steel. Now you can go 87 to get silver anchor, which is pretty dope. 
62 though on the offensive rebound and then you can still go up to 85 on that to get to go with the silver rebound chaser then you want to max out your speed and your acceleration go 84 on the strength and then you want to go 76 on the i'm sorry 78 on the vert and then of course max out the stamina so 23 17 12 and 21 is what you're looking at and um of course i mean you can you got the same takes you can go with either or it doesn't really matter right again like i said i like going with the advanced moves and i like going with the um shot daggers but it's really up to you and here you have it real quickly just want to show you exactly how you can make this the updated replica build and again, a couple weeks from now, this probably will change because the attributes are going to get better. So just keep that in mind. Everything has to be within an eight, right? So if you want to know, your attributes have to be within eight. So if you're making this right now, you can't make it. Just go to his rosters and make sure everything's either plus minus eight to where he has, okay? But there you have it right here. So without further ado, let's head and watch some gameplay of me cooking up on the twos court. So let's head over there and I'll be back in about three seconds. All right, let's hop straight into this. Um, what, first and foremost, man, I want to give a shout out to my man, Gimme. You know, Gimme for, um, you know, getting on the court rocking with me, man. He's already hit 40, and I got a long way to go, but I need to get on the game more. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we're on the twos court. As you see right here, man, they get two quick buckets, but um, we're about to fast forward that real quick. Ain't no one trying to see all this crap, man. So right here, we get the ball back. Uh, we eventually get the ball back right here. I get a nice little block um, because the dude just has absolutely no good IQ, which is all dope. And they give it to Gimme for an easy three-point shot. And that's the only time Gimme's going to score. And from here on out, I'm telling you, man, what you're about to see is going to be surgical. I'm telling you. How I break these guys down from the post. As you see right here, man, look at this. I hit him with the size up. And again, a center's not used to this. I blow right by him. And you see, I get an actual stun animation because he was reaching. He thinks that he can rip me because, again, six foot ten. Not understanding I have seven, you know, I have unpluckable and silver. I have a 77 ball handle. So now you know what I'm going to do. He already playing off of me. I'm going to put him in the post. And as usual, I'm filling him out. He's playing some space. So again, if he's playing back there, I'm just going to go ahead and hop shot to the left. He was on my right side. I'll go ahead and hit him to the left. Easy money. This is where I always shine at, guys. All right. Post. Post moves is really, really good this year, especially if you know what you're doing. It's all about figuring out where they're at sizing him up as you see right here i blow right by him i stop again he plays comes up i hit him with the crazy hot drop step so again he was on my left side running up hard i just do the, my drop step to the right easy wide open shot again little things like that it's all about just reading so all i'm doing is when i'm when i'm dribbling is just looking at my opponent where he's at he plays off of me boom right so let's just recap real quick he's played up on me i blew right by him he i put him in the post and now I just literally hit him with the mid-range. So he now knows I can do everything. So now he's, he, listen, now he's all mine. You see right there, they start to the double team. Again, give me passes it back. I hit the nice midi. That's a lost arc. I have an 82 mid-range shot. So, of course, I'm going to shoot it. As you see, I also have double takeover. And this is all barbecue chicken. I'm talking about, like, I can do whatever, anything I want. He cannot stop me. Again, the dribble. Look at that. He reaches. I blow our bomb. I didn't want to cook him like that. I try to go for a contact dunk. I swore I went up down on my analog stick. I didn't get it, but um, I had tons of contact dunks throughout these um, game plays. But I'm just going to do this gameplay because this was the first one. I always like showing the first gameplay. Again, right there, blow right by him. I didn't want to hit him like that. I thought I was going to be able to double cook him. Couldn't do that. So I just hit him with the hot shot again. Um, like I said, there's just so many different things you can do, especially when you're guarding um, a center like he is. Because, again, a center just has a hard time guarding. And, he, and then the good thing is, if I'm going against a 6'9", the 6'9 is going to get cooked. But I want you to see something here. All right, so I put him in the post. As you see, he's shading far to my right. So then again, again, if he's on my right, I'm going to hop step far to the left, get all that separation. And again, barbecue chicken. So when i start to see people shading me one way i'm literally going to hop shot and do a hop shot jump shot to the um, to the opposite side and again it's going to be easy money and again right here as you're going to see i get my separation because i got lebron james size up which i think is op but check this out here i try to do the post spin easy money because i saw him he was playing me too hard to the left so i just go ahead and post spin to the right right i mean it's like again it's not it's not that hard right a lot of people just you know it just takes a little bit of time practicing but check this out Again, I go here to fake to the right, and then I go ahead and jab to the left, and in between his legs, <laughs> finishing out the game, bro. Like, 
this build was so fun to play with so i know i showed y'all the updated version of the build yes the mid-range and three-point shots gonna be a little bit lower but you do get even a higher ball handle so regardless you're gonna have fun with this build again shout out to my man gimme and let me know in the comment section what replica build you want me to rock with next but other than that this is your favorite old head uncle Demi. i'll be back really really soon with the banger man you know when i say we back soon with the banger you know exactly what day i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out